sound me freely. It's all right. Your face says it all. It says I'm guilty because I left you behind to rot. You're quietly thinking about betraying me or wetting your pants. Get the lady sparklies out of the safe, John. You got the toy we talked about, beautiful? She ain't doing this out of the goodness of her heart like the rest of us. Brucie, be a doll and give Kitty a hand. I ain't touching that popsicle. His peepers never looked so good. John, pay the lady. You get the rest when we're inside. Take it up with him. Sorry I'm late. Traffic was murder. Was? I'd say still is. So I got one question for ya. It's like he knew not to trust any of us. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, crazy, right? So you're gonna help me. You're gonna find the location. And when you do, maybe you'll get a treat. That's the way it works. This is where you come in. Then get on out of here and earn it. Promise a man a treat and he's speechless. Now get a move on, Bruce. Just don't get him hurt. That's my job. Mm, good point. Take a two. Riddler had a beef with his former employers, who were cooking up some very dangerous and super fun stuff at a black site lab somewhere here in Gotham. A sweet, delicious little treat. That means when I ask you to bring me something, you deliver it. I want you to head over to Riddler's place and do some digging. So speak up if there are any objections. We can hash this out in a reasonable manner. La 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 You don't get it, do ya? My problems are your problems. Take John with you. Oh, thanks, Puddin. You would have had a blast if you were with me. It's a little run down, but the rent is right. Bane? Oh, he came down with the case of the left behinds. Oops. I got some thinking to do. You done? No. Oh, this one's actually got some brains. Everyone else better be smart, too. Ah, ah, ah. Did it occur to any one of you people that the job we just pulled went sideways a little too quick? I think they knew we were coming. Because a little rat told them. And I'm not gonna let whoever it is stop me from getting what I want. This leak, it almost got me killed. It nearly caused the demise of Gotham's favorite luchador. So now, no one moves, no one breathes without my say-so. Cause I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. That make you nervous, Bruce? Careful, Bruce. You're valuable, but not irreplaceable. Excuse me, peanut gallery. You got something to say? Guess you're clear. For now. You ask a lot of questions, you know that? Since Big Bad Bane's plan almost got one of our most valuable members killed today, we're having a change in management. What do you have to say? If anyone else has any issues with the New World Order, my door is always open. Then, let's get back to work. And whoever it is, is gonna find their inside suddenly al fresco. Wayne, come here a second. Hiya, Bruce. I got an errand for ya. Because apparently you're so capable. Who you gonna tell if you see anything that ain't on the up and up? Oh, sweet, innocent puddin. Friends have the easiest access to stab you in the back. Now get out of here. I want that black site location. Remember that. 
can't let any of these mooks sense weakness. I know just about everything about Riddler's plan. But he kept one card close to his chest. The location of the job. Took the secret to his grave. Now I got his laptop, but look at this. And keep your yap shut. It's encrypted! I've been able to piece together most of his plan, except where the black site is. I don't know whether to laugh or hit you so hard your eyeballs fall out. Bruce, did you see what just happened? I'm in charge here. No questions asked. Bruce, in case you missed it, we have a mole problem. And until we clear that up, the keys to the kingdom stay with me. Got it? See, I ain't letting this laptop out of my sight until I clear up this mole problem. So... They was right to beat up his guy before we left to hit the convoy. He just beat up the wrong one. Since he couldn't deliver, I'm taking over the case. The answer had better be yes, Holly. Another damn riddle. This here's one of my favorite toys. Helps me make boring things into pretty things. Point is, John's mine, and mine alone. So don't play with my toys, or I'll bash in that pretty face of yours. What's going on with you guys? You, time out! And you, we need to talk. What the hell is going on here? God damn it, Bane. You running your own investigation? You gonna get little business cards printed that say Detective Bane now? I didn't get a chance to grill the guy. What are you? A side of beef with a hunch? I'll find the rat, and I'll deal with it. You can't be trusted to run your men anymore. They're mine now. Got it? You just killed one. I only shot him. Who do you think wins that recruitment war? Hey, you two. You guys get me a black site location or not? What do you want? Shouldn't you be informing your men they work for me now? Puddin? Are you kidding me? He's loyal to a fault. Can you be a smart guy and guess another one of my favorite toys? <laughs> Good guess. But no. It's John. Oh, look at that. There are some neurons firing in there after all. <laughs> oh, Wayne, you got flirting down, I'll give you that. But it ain't you. Your mold's already set. No, the lump of clay I'm talking about is John. <laughs> Nothing? Wasn't meant to stump you, you dim bulb. You two are getting a little too close for comfort. So I'm making a new rule. Hands off. I'm a trained psychiatrist. Come on, you can do it. Think hard. You don't know for sure it was him, so now what? You know who's gonna have a tough time being loyal now? That guy. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. We have a black site to raid. Same place we'll all be someday. Same place as yours, feeding the worms of Gotham. No, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Same as we'll all be someday. He did, till he blew his brains out. Well, my dad was kind of a disturbing fella. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them? But it's nice to know I have a fan. <laughs> he used to sing that to me. My dad. And they all fell down To the dark to drown To the deep to drown. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. Hidden depths? <laughs> You're a simple man. Secrets you don't want me to see? 
A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Take no apologies, that sort of thing. Or there more to the story I should know. Your father, he was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him, betrayed him. He ended them. Show no mercy? Think he was onto something with that idea? <laughs> such a pretty way of saying killing a person. I hadn't taken you for such a ruthless fella. <laughs> and here I was, starting to be a cat person. You know, my dad was a simple man, too. You know, my dad could be a funny guy, too. You know, my dad was a private fella, too. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Made me feel safe, like nothing could hurt me. Hmm, <laughs> you're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Been running short of those lately. Maybe I don't know the real you. Kind of strange, considering he's the reason you're standing here. Unless. Not one for Sharon? <laughs> we all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. Plus... You're not a bad guy. Like that girl. What's her face, uh... Brittany? How am I doing? No. Tiffany. I'm glad you have a friend in this world, Bruce. That's invaluable. <laughs> You're cute when you front. You know that? I don't know if she's your friend or mortal enemy, but I know you care about her at least a little. Ho oh, ho, take it down a notch, Wayne. I'd kill to have a friend like that right now. Your friend is safe. Early twenties, fresh-faced and optimistic. It's your job to keep her that way. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. Bane, get him inside. Yeah, once you're an ice cube, I can use you to keep the vodka cold. This ain't about what it was or what you did with it. It's about trust. And I ain't got none for you no more. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. All for my dad. You got some of the same shades as him. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And Bane... Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> nice try, but you're a book. And I read ya. You remember? We are gonna do terrible things together. Come on, Bruce. Time to raise some hell. <laughs> Why would I start now? Good. This'll just take a second. Get her inside. Ah, oh, come on! Just throw her in one of Riddler's murder boxes! Aw, oh, Puddin. That's sweet. Bruce is in deep trouble. Laptop's gone. You found me the black site, didn't ya? Don't want to talk about your old man, Bruce. Hold your horses! You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. What is it now, Bane? I sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. Well, did you think I was just gonna let her go or something? Fat frickin' chance. She's gonna get turned into one of Freeze's popsicles. I know cats don't like water, but how do they feel about ice? <laughs> I really, really do. Thought you'd see that. Funny way to show your affection, ratting a girl out. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? 
I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one. What's who? Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Yes, I cleared John. You think that guy's capable of lying to me? I mean, if only he would. That'd show a little spine. Oh, okay. I guess I'll take your word for it. Spoiler alert. I ain't taking your word for it. Not even gonna defend yourself, huh? Looking real bad for you, Bruce. But if you really want to, you can ask him yourself. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Have at it, John. I'll be right outside. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. So much for the solidarity of sisterhood. I knew you had it in you, John. Like, skin a cat. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. Like that girl John told me about. What's a face, uh, Brittany? Who we hanging out to dry? All right, time's up. You hitting him already? <laughs> Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. How do you know? I understand, Bruce. I'm disappointed too. I'll let it play. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Oh, there's one thing I don't get, though. Maybe I'm thick, but if you missed me... Why the hell did you leave me behind? If you missed me so much... Why the hell did you let them leave me behind? And how about this one? Did you miss me, sugar? That stings, Bruce. When you left me to die back there.